Dumb proofness testing is performed in three different ways depending on the sample. By either rubbing, rotating box for large pillows, and rotating box for mock-ups, sleeves, jackets and finished products. Rubbing is performed by cutting out four patches, two for each direction of thread. This is then sewn into small pillows and filled with material. The bags are then sewn shut and the seams are glued, since you want to test your fabric and not our stitches. The pillow is then bagged and strapped into the machine for about 20 minutes. Once done, the sample is removed and both the protruding and loose particles are counted. When preparing rotating box testing for large pillows, the initial process looks very similar to rubbing. This time the thread direction does not matter. They are filled with content, sewn shut and glued. Lastly, they are put into a rotating box for 30 minutes. Silicone stoppers, which are balls that dreamt of being square, mercilessly take out their frustration on the pillow. Afterwards, the loose and protruding particles are counted. Rotating box testing for mock-ups, sleeves, jackets and other finished products is a little bit different. Clients will send us samples, one is okay, two makes us very happy, along with specifications. Do you want it tested before washing? After washing? What about before or after dry cleaning? It is truly an exciting time to be alive. After a decision has been made, seams are glued and the sample is measured to calculate the total count limit. Run for 15 minutes. Count particles run for 15 minutes more, then count again. Jackets and sleeves are turned inside out and put through the same process again. The results are then compared to the total count limit.